this is my partner. Hi, my name is Arusa Suryaji. We are from Islamic Senior High School to Kudus. And now we will be presenting about our research study under the title Serum Synthesis Carbon Dots Improving Shell's Quality from Famous Fusarium Oxys Forum FSPCP with Pumpkin Seed. Shallots are one of the most important vegetables commodities in Indonesia, both of their high economic value and their nutritional value. Demands for consumption of shallots and domestic seeds has increased in recent decades, so Indonesia must import to suit the needs of shallots. To reduce imports, improvements in the production and quality of shallots should be made increasingly through intensification as well as extensions. The biggest failure to grow shallots is in the soil structure of a certain region or because the region's climate has been unsuited to the growth of the shallots. The disease that often attacks shallots is root rot caused by Fusarium oxysporum FSPCP is one of the limiting shallots production. Known symptoms are dry and twisting leaves starting from the top because the tubers rot. Pumpkin seeds are one of the food grains from pumpkin fruit. These one seeds contains very much, starting from energy, protein, fiber, phosphorus, iron, potassium, copper, zinc, riboflavin, niacin, magnesium, and many other ingredients which can be utilized. Carbon dots is a new material that has size below 10 nanometers. Seedots nanoparticles have been developed intensively by the scientists which are still being developed today. The advantage it has makes this carbon a material that have very wide application. From the existing problems, we will apply seedot synthesis serum from pumpkin seeds to solve the fungal wheel thesis problem of Fusarium oxysporum FSPCP and improve the quality of shallots as one of the main ingredients in cooking. Our research study aim to characterize the seedots of pumpkin seeds against the fungus Fusarium oxysporum FSPCP on shallots and test the effectiveness of serum from synthesis seedots of pumpkin seeds against wilt of fungus Fusarium oxysporum FSPCP on shallots. The tools used in this study were 250 ml and 150 ml bakers, pipettes, scales, microwave, and ultrasonic bed. While the materials used are pumpkin seeds and a solution in the form of distilled water. First of all, the pumpkin seeds are washed first and then dried in the oven of 150 degrees Celsius for 3 until 4 hours with a base of aluminium foil. After the seeds dry, grind the seeds using a blender until they become powder. Pumpkin powder was weighed with variation in the mass of 20 grams, 40 grams, 20 grams, 20 grams, and 20 grams. One by one, the pumpkin powder samples were dissolved in 140 ml of distilled water in different bakers. Then the variation were sent diffused with an ultrasonic pad for 30 minutes, 6 times to separate the solution from the tracks for each variation. After completion, the sample is then filtered with filter paper. After being filtered, the samples were heated in a microwave at 70% power. For the mass variation, the microwave time is the same, namely 30 minutes. Well, for the time variation, the mass used is the same, namely 20 grams. After getting a crust on the bottom of the baker, let it rest at room temperature for 60 minutes. The scale on the bottom of the baker is scraped off with a spatula. This aims to speed up the process of dissolving the scale in 100 ml of distilled water. The crust that has been dissolved with distilled water is then carried out of a homogenization process with an ultrasonic bed for 2 hours. Furthermore, the solution is filtered with filter paper and the sheet dot liquid is ready. In this study, two tests were carried out. 
namely the photoluminescence test and the UV phase test. Based on the photoluminescence test data, there are two variations with high levels of absorbance and wavelength, namely the 40 gram variation with a microwave time of 30 minutes with the highest wave at 481.94 nanometers and the 20 gram variation with a microwave time of 10 minutes with the highest wave at 488.95 nanometers. Meanwhile, based on the result of the UV fish test data, the variation with highest absorbance power, both from the mass variation and the time variation, is the 20 grams variation with 30 minutes microwave time. However, only one variation is used in direct application on shallots. The variation we use is the 20 grams variation with a 10 minutes microwave time. Because in a photoluminescence test, the variation of 20 grams with 10 minutes of microwave time displays the highest wavelength at 488.95 nanometers. The application stage for the shallots can be seen on the table. Shallots with infection of the fungus Shalom oxysporum FSPCP and headly shallots don't have much of a comparison. This is due to the process of the planting and placing shallots in a humid room with high rainfall and without bright sunlight. According to Marlene M. 2021, weather is the main factor causing shallot crop failure. When the weather is too hot, shallots will experience dryness and are susceptible to being eaten by plant caterpillars. Vice versa, when the rainy season lasts long enough, this will cause the shallots to become steam rot and be attacked by fog. The conclusions we can draw from this research is that seeds from pumpkin seeds were successfully synthesized using the microwave methods. The photoluminescent test showed a variation of 20 grams with 10 minutes of microwave time with the highest wavelength at 481.94 nanometers. The UV fish test showed that a variation of 20 grams C dots with 30 minutes of microwave time had an absorbance level of 219 nanometers. Synthesized seed and serum from pumpkin seeds was not effective against shallots with the fungus Fusarium oxysporum FSPCP. And that's the video presentation of our research study. Now it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching.